is the Capra King. I'm gonna be continuing the um, a terror of my nightmares. From Ananas. Telefrancis was a French children's show that ran from 1984 to 1986. Hmm. The show became a popular teaching tool in Canadian and American schools to teach their students French as a second language. However, the show featured a character named Ananas. <laughs> A frightening, sporadic talking pineapple who often gets- Could you imagine being chased characters. by that? She pretty much never blinks and is usually just looking around in a dazed stare when she's not speaking. She's almost nothing like her animated counterpart. They could have just done it animated to me. Do it in. Look at the legs. Can you imagine being chased by a pineapple? You're guaranteed she's gonna slip and fall. All right, number eight. Hardly care from Pipkin. Oh. There was a 70s kids show in Britain called Pipkin that ran from January 1973 to December 1981. The show starred a gang of animals such as a pig. A I like that turtle. That turtle's awesome. An ostrich named Octavia and a hare named Hartley Hare. He was the most daunting thing about the show. And while Hartley Hare wasn't intended to be creepy, he ended up being downright... Well, if jokes. you wanted to make the show, you could have done it right. Of any real humor or color, ...and instead focused on a depressing color scheme. In this video, Hartley talks to children about being naughty. Uh. <laughs> what? It's the guy from Courage? I was feeling naughty. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. It almost sounds like I was the guy. What is he doing? I take it back, he is horrifying Michael Nyan. was cancelled when its producers, Aww. ATV, lost its franchise for the Midlands ITV region. Interestingly, due to videotape damage and poor storage, why is many Hartley Hare <gasps> um, uh, out of three oh, oh, green, but in the show he looks like he's brown. The test of time. Just so you know, I'm um, a uh, the monkey's ears look like donuts. The giant walrus from Pingu. Oh. I haven't seen Pingu yet. Pingu I don't. And finds himself in a dream. Nah, you know I'm Why really good at banned episodes. I'm really hoping that this around. episode got banned. As bizarre as most dreams go, this one seems fine. Until a giant walrus begins to stalk Pingu. He looks like he has no eyes. Slowly murmurs and all evil noises before confronting Pingu. Okay. Not disturbing, buddy. He traps Pinku in an igloo and then laughs some more in an uncomfortably deep tone and must have scared the children watching at home. What's most odd is that he only appeared in this one episode. Let's see why. It was banned from distribution due to the walrus being frightening for many young viewers. It was also removed from British Okay. Now you also like to do things weird. Oh, he is bad. You jerk. Now you've gone too far, walrus man. It's bad. You ain't too bad, just so you know. The walrus. Okay, what the heck is that? PSLT is described by their website as a songbook. What? But not just any songbook. A songbook full of songs for children. What? PSLT in reality is a grown man in a book costume. Really? I thought it was possessed by Satan. Aesthetic to make his cheeks more pronounced. He is often with and watching a group of kids with his trusty dog Blooper. Oh my god. Is another 30 something man who wears guys. a downright creepy dog mask. Guys. And is forced to act like a guys. Guys. He is. 
working on children. Allowing them to lay in their laps and allowing them to pet his thighs. They're getting uncomfortably close to his groinal area. It really does scream stranger danger. But really... Oh my god, he's even got a creepy mouth that, and nose and face. That's just creepy. At number five. The puppets from Peppermint Park. Oh my god. According to TV tropes, this 80s TV show can be described as straight to DVD and straight from hell. Oh my god. Rightfully so. The main cast of characters... They look... Those are so bad. ...that teaches children lessons like letters, numbers, colors, and so on. Take Ernie, for example. Ernie? Likes to sing wait a minute, uh, they ripped off... Wait a minute, is, is it two Ernie. different Ernies? Today on Peppermint Park, we're introducing the letter M. It's such a great letter. Okay. Ugh. I have to admit, it's catchy, kind of. Magnificent. I can't imagine life without the letter L. The song is poorly written. Well, I could see why this show got banned, because it's poorly made. There's also Maynard. Whoopie doopie! Who sings about the color blue in this clip? What'd you see? Ah, don't worry, buddy. Just get a hug from Lala. We get it. Hey, Grandma. Who's that? He wants to go get. He wants to go get shopping. Oh, he wants to get with Grandpa. Not yeah. Oh, that's cool. How's the your bedroom? Pretty good. <laughs> this is a ripoff of Sesame Street right here. Oh, are you recording? Yeah. Can I look it up our joy, please? What really makes the show unnerving is the way they move and the designs themselves. It honestly looks as though there are actors that just had their heads removed and then replaced with Okay, dolls. okay, that's bad. Sesame Street, is that the dark alley of Sesame Street, question mark? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Remember that one time, guys? We, got, we tried to make a poor attempt. I tried to make a poor attempt at the Harry Potter hat. Here it is. He's got an angry eyebrow. Unibrow. That's sad. Is that rabbit gonna eat him? I honestly say, God, that is not scary, but it's not scary. I mean, it, it is scary to me. I didn't mean to say that. Hey, Wizard. Have you seen what happened? Hey, Grandma. Did you just Uh-huh. Yeah, okay. Love you, too. Oh, my God. That is creepy. I mean, how could the creators not think that... Wait a minute. This will terrify everyone at all, Drake. He's also... You know they pretty much just do. They, you know that they're in a cult. I think. And I, I meant the bunny and the the cheese like alien Wisbit thing. Okay. Okay, that's bad. Okay, I could have sworn I had something at my door. What the fuck, Twitchda? Oh my god, I remember him. Definitely one of the more. He is funny to me. This horrifying. He looks like he's just like so happy, like he's gonna go to a birthday party, or that it, it is his birthday today. His name translates to nosy blankets. Anyways, in this clip, he's walking around and singing an insanely creepy song. The guys. Ah. I have to admit, this show is pretty good. In the show, he seems to enjoy walking around and having fun with children. That's all I could take out of him. He just oh my god, he looks so cool. Bizarre way. Did he just threaten me to slit my throat? I think that's what he meant. Okay, how can there be more? 
nobody from Sesame Street. Oh, I remember nobody. Nobody was an Everyone seemed to be scarred by this. It doesn't bother me. Like, I just watched The Muppets, and it looks like someone jumped... It's like, Amy, someone jumped out the window, and then it cuts to a hotel. Pretty much, and... Like, like this guy, he just opens all these doors, and a guy's taking a shower. Then he just shuts the door, and then he goes back, and... Then these penguins are sliding on soap, and then it cuts to... Kermit just drinking water, pretty much. And it cuts the Kermit pretty much saying goodbye to Miss Piggy. Nobody would, just like in the Sesame Street, float around and speak in his isolated whispering voice and have flashbacks about his family. Sometimes I really enjoy the Sesame Street to me. Evil thoughts, question mark? Okay. Nobody I know or a limbo. No. Nobody, I thought you were me. I thought you were my friend. As soon as he would mention these evil thoughts, disturbing images would flash on screen for a brief few frames. Okay, that's good. Or bad. Sesame Street. Was that the dark alley of Sesame Street? Oh. Oh. I remember him. I remember him. As the show went on, he became more the subject of fear. fear. Episodes would often show Mr. Nosy Bunk acting out clues to the word of the week. After all, this was an educational children's show, and for a children's show, he was downright horrifying. Well, hey. His mask had these big, lifeless eyes that just kind of stared off into the distance. This wide and unchanging grin that displays a haunting smile, and and an unusually large nose. Huh? In the show. He's always silent, and often had his nightmarish repetitive tune accompany him. Not much was really known about his character, and information was scarce until recently when he was brought up online. I know creepy pastas about him. Um, Charlie Brooker, I like that name. So what? Describes him as a leering death mask figure who haunted his dreams and struck him as the kind who would sneak into a stranger's bedroom in the dead of night and knife you and knife you and knife you. Okay. Uh, thanks. This is Copper King. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.